Khloe Kardashian claps back at comments calling her insecure. Addison Rae fans call out the paparazzi after they film her getting stopped by the police. And TikTok star Bryce Hall gets sued for fighting in a Mexican restaurant in LA. We've got three news stories for you all today, but first, if you could do us a big favor and please smash that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. So first things first, let's talk about what led to Bryce Hall and his crew throwing hands at a restaurant in Los Angeles. Shockingly enough, the person that is suing Bryce is the co-owner of the restaurant who claims that Bryce swung at him because he was a Mexican immigrant. Hernan Fernando, who is the co-owner of Cinco, is claiming that Bryce as well as three other men, including Bryce's buddy Rory Fitzpatrick, all came to the restaurant back in October for drinks. What's ridiculous is that apparently Bryce had started vaping while at his table, and when asked to stop by the bar manager, he ignored. Then Mr. Fernando himself approached his table to give him a second warning about not using the vape while seated at his table. After he ignored it yet again, Hernan told the server to close out the tab. After this, the server claims to have heard Bryce refer to Hernan as a wetback and the Mexican, which is where things really started to go downhill. When the co-owner came back to the table, Bryce apparently blew vapes smoke into his face, and his buddy Rory got physical with the staff after they tried to escort them off the premises, which soon just erupted into an all-out brawl, where Hernan claims in the lawsuit that Bryce and Rory repeatedly pummeled him and allegedly tried to choke him as well. Hernan also alleges that after calling the police, more racial slurs were yelled at him, and he also suffered a broken hand from the incident. Hernan is suing Bryce, Rory, and their friends for assault, battery, emotional distress, and for attacking him based on his ethnicity. So far, Bryce is yet to respond. Now in other news, Addison Rae fans are very upset with this latest stunt done by the paparazzi. With a great amount of success that Addison has had on TikTok, and recently with the release of her new single, it's no wonder that the paparazzi are hot on her trail. Although her fans think that the Hollywood fix may have gone just a little bit too far with their recent video showing Addison getting stopped by the police. The fact that the video also said that she looked visibly upset is just a blatant disregard that the person they are filming is still a human. She got pulled over by the police, of course she's going to be upset. And to make matters worse, there's some creeper in the bushes filming the whole thing. The comment section on this video echoed these complaints with one person saying, getting pulled over is so embarrassing, and then imagine having someone record it and put it all online for anyone to see. I would be so done. With another adding, I can't imagine being videotaped while getting a traffic ticket. Get the damn cameras off people's face. Although it's not clear what Addison was pulled over for, the consequences of filming this incident has been made very clear though. People are getting sick and tired of paparazzi harassing their favorite stars. The title of the video suggests that she was pulled over for speeding, but Addison has yet to comment on the situation. Now in our last story, we have to talk about Khloe Kardashian and taking time out of her busy day to respond to her haters. After her leaked photo controversy, Chloe actually responded to a comment left by someone that said she was insecure. If you missed it, two weeks ago, Chloe became a big topic of conversation after an unedited photo of her in a bikini was posted to social media without her consent. Then, within hours of it spreading like wildfire, Chloe and her legal team started making threats to people that were reposting the image. Days later, Chloe went on the defense and started sharing a series of photos kind of showing off her body. There were, there were some videos in there as well where she was like turning to the side just to prove how she looks without Photoshop. However, now she has finally taken a different approach after sharing some photos from Kourtney Kardashian's birthday party. In the photo series, one person wrote, if insecurity was a person. Then, like I said, shockingly enough, Khloe Kardashian actually responded. In response, Khloe said, baby girl, you have to look in the mirror. Only insecure people tear other people down. I'm sending you so much love, health, and happiness. I'm sorry that you're hurting. And I mean, She's not wrong. Like I said in my previous video on this topic, hurt people hurt people. So it's at least nice to see that she is now taking this approach to responding to negativity instead of, you know, threatening to sue people. Uh, I will always stand by the saying, kill them with kindness. But that's just me. With that though, let's check in some of your comments from the video titled, Was Jake Paul vs. Ben Askren Rigged? Tina says, I didn't even watch the fight and I knew it was rigged. <laughs> Oh, I love these new boxing analysts. Ghost Dragon says, You mean to tell me a UFC fighter not only didn't get in shape for a fight, but was able to go down in basically one punch? I think I went down in one punch because he did not get in shape for the fight. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly it. You solved it right in that question. Simply Susie says, Everyone I know that watched the fight believes it was rigged. He looked too happy walking instantly away after losing. He got his bag and left. Well, he certainly did get his bag and left, and I'm definitely sure that's why he was smiling. Rachel in the 208 says, I was wondering that too. I would not be surprised. P.S. You need a haircut. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> there's no hairdressers open. And I am not cutting this myself. It's not gonna happen. This is gonna be down to my waist, if that's what it means. I'm not getting my hair cut until the barbershops are fully open and they stay open. Carlos Delgado says, anyone who thinks this was rigged has never been punched in the face. Facts. <laughs> yeah, people like to forget about the glass chin. If you get hit hard enough in your chin, it's lights out. It just is. And he definitely got bopped a couple times. But that has been today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Wouldn't be an I.O. video without a burp. Scroll, scroll, scroll.
door is so loud. Oh, 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 oh,